action. You've now activated the ramp. Ramp's going up. Which, by the way, we need to get pickup of the ramp just going up. Oh, yeah, wow. move that camera. Bring it facing Patrick. And cut. Hi, Brian Singer here on the set of X-Men Days of Future Past. Some of you may recognize this as Professor Charles Xavier's office. Uh, some subtle differences, as you may notice by the appliances. This portion of the picture takes place in the 1970s. The film also takes place in the distant future. What this gives me, not only an opportunity to work with a lot of the artists and technicians that I was able to work with on the previous X-Men pictures, but also uh, an incredible cast, both from the X-Men First Class movie and the original X-Men picture. So I think it's gonna be one of the most talented group of actors assembled for one of these kinds of films, and I'm very excited about that. You'll notice lots of X's everywhere. Not only is this the biggest X-Men film ever made and probably the biggest film I've ever made, but also the fact that we're shooting it in native stereo and we're using a lot of the most sophisticated visual effects technology. But in addition to that, we're still building some really extraordinary sets. John Meyer's done an amazing job with the production design. And as I said, the film takes place all over the world in different times. I think people are gonna be quite dazzled by that. There's also a great sense of the familiar with this picture, uh, which I think is important when you're telling the story of a saga, the X-Men saga. You may recognize this place. It's one of my favorite sets. And, uh, you know, it's after, you know, beginning this journey about 14 years ago, it's really exciting to be back in a place like this. I know for some of the actors it is, some of the younger actors who've never played in the set um, grew up with this franchise. So to be here with some of the main players from the past is very exciting. And this, this actual location later in the film is gonna take a kind of scary turn, which I won't spoil for you. Now, today we are actually on an active set. We're shooting a scene today with uh, Hugh Jackman, Nicholas Holt, and James McAvoy uh, on the set of Cerebro, which is this large structure here. That's Nicholas Holt. How are you, Nick? If you look there closer, <laughs> it's <laughs> the Wolverine. <laughs> So we've only shot for about a month, but it feels like we've shot an entire movie, and there's a lot more to come. Uh, as I said, this is one of my favorite sets. This is absolutely my favorite set. An oldie, but a goodie. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed my little tour, and if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get back to work, and I will see you all very soon.